My name is Paul Cox, and I'm with Indian Larry Legacy Motorcycle Shop in Brooklyn. The spirit of this shop is um, very much about high performance and about um, de details and not being restricted by labels and um, just building what we want that we like to ride. The whole point of the type of bike we build is that it's a stripped down chopper, small maneuverable chopper that you could ride all day long, you could ride across the country, you can ride around the city and be comfortable on and um, still have something light that's a hot rod, but you could go long distance if you want to. We could do that. That's the motor? Yeah, yeah, that. And, um, and then there's so many labels these days between choppers and bobbers and customs and pro street and all that. Um, what we build is like an early style chopper which is got a very basic geometry and somewhat stock geometry to a stock bike but with no rear suspension, high performance engine, very tight maneuverable front end and, um, and it's kind of the minimal of equipment that you need to go down the road. But uh, with the geometry of the bike, the way that it's set up is what makes it comfortable and make it something that you could drive all day long, but it's still light and powerful. And the cornering is really tight. So if you're in New York City and you're trying to drive in traffic, you can maneuver. And that's like an early style chopper, you know, so that's the style we build. It's classic Americana. It's an American hot rod, you know? I mean, it goes back for almost 100 years to the first motorcycles, more than 100 years, where, you know, Perf performance and horsepower and all that has always been classic Americana and you know I think it's been something that is a part of this country it's a part of what it's about the freedom that's involved is in building your own type of vehicle it's a it's a type of expression you know it's personal expression and that's you know what America was built on and um, I mean we're very fortunate that we can that we can build these types of motorcycles and if we make them safe and adhere to the laws that we have to, we can put them on the street and, um, and make something that you can have your personality in you know, the bike that you ride and you're not limited by what the factory does or by what a manufacturer does. And you can express yourself through your, your machine. There's a huge following of uh, Larry's for sure. And um, when we continue to build these bikes, you know, Kano builds in his own way and I build bikes in my own way and, and we get together to kind of keep this whole shop operating and people loved what Larry did and um, they're still interested in what we're doing today, you know, because they want to have that connection and feel that connection to what uh, Larry used to do. And that's great, you know, and we're happy to um, build the bikes that we build and you know have it represent our friend Larry in a good way I hope you know Larry was a well-known bike builder and engine builder for a long long time for like 40 years and um, and then I was lucky enough to uh, start working with him in the early 90s and we were with a shop called Psycho Cycles for a number of years and then when when we split up we all came back together in this location uh, in 2000, like seven years ago. And Kano had been working with Larry, um, doing engine building and, and bike building. And um, we all came back together here and, uh, and started, started this shop. And then when um, Larry passed away three years ago, we all um, got together and, and kept the whole thing going. So. Um, you know, Kano has done a great job all this time running the shop and, and doing amazing engine building. And I try to work with him on uh, the bike builds. And then also Elisa, our other partner, has been doing a great job running the, uh, the office and everything else to make it so that we can build motorcycles. And plus uh, the whole merchandising company too. You know, so that's something else that we, we kept going and, 
and all together, it still continues to kind of represent Larry's name and represent what he, you know, enjoyed doing and what he had had fun doing and people like to still see it out there and that generates that connection that people have. He was a very unique person. He had a lot of, um, um, you know, character and, and charm and was very gregarious and outgoing. He had a strong personality and it's like, um, you know, like, take Ed Roth, for example. Uh, he built some amazing things, but his personality and him as an individual was almost more important than the things that he built. You know, he was just such a big personality. And that's kind of how Larry was, because even people that weren't into motorcycles or didn't even care about motorcycles still loved Larry and just felt, you know, drawn to him. So it's just something special about the personality that you, you can't replace. You know, you just won't find that again. I do the leather work also for the bike builds. So when we get to the point that we're ready for a seat, I'll come in here and I'll do maybe some tooling or some inlay you know, different design work on the seat and um, then put that on the bike that we built. And very personal to the person that we're building the bike for. We like to make it very personal.